In fact, NASA is planning a mission called the Jupiter Icy Moons Orbiter, the AKA JIMO. At 120 feet long, it's gonna be several times larger than any planetary probe ever launched. And its nuclear reactor will power ion engines and a big science radar. The main goal of JIMO will be to use that radar to look down through the ice of Jupiter's three largest moons. First, it will study Callisto, and then it will move to Ganymede. And these are bizarre moons, the largest of Jupiter's 61 known moons. Callisto and Ganymede both have crusts of ancient ice and rock that may hide oceans miles below the surface. Further in is Io, which is a moon of fire not ice. Io's eccentric orbit causes it to deform as it circles Jupiter. This intense tidal pumping pulls at the moon like taffy, generating friction at the core, which then becomes heat. And this heat drives the solar system's largest active volcanoes. There are constant eruptions, rivers of lava, and volcanic plumes shooting hundreds of miles into space. gem of the Jovian system, at least as far as the search for life is concerned, is Europa. It's here where fire and ice come together in perfect harmony. The scientific community is relatively certain that beneath the icy, chaotic shell of Europa, there exists a liquid water ocean with twice the volume of all the Earth's oceans combined. So tidal heating is working here too keeping that water from freezing, and possibly providing energy for life, the same kind of life that we're finding at the deep vents here on Earth. 